Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. This is Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about solving systems of inequalities. So it's very similar to systems of equations solving using graphing, only now we're doing inequalities and there's a little more to it. So if you think back to when we were graphing inequalities in unit two, it's very similar in that we have to worry about our dotted or solid line. Uh, are we shading above or below? Um, so it's really just putting together that lesson on graphing inequalities in general and systems of equations using graphing. So putting those two things together. Let's just dive right in. First thing I want to think about when I'm solving systems of inequality, so you'll notice that it's given me two equations and both of them do not have equal signs, but rather they've got those inequality symbols. The first thing you want to definitely think about, same thing with systems of equations when you're graphing, is are my two equations in slope intercept form? Meaning, are they in y equals mx plus b form? So let's look at the first equation. y equals, now I know that's not an equals, it's an inequality, but we're gonna treat it as an equals. So y equals mx plus b. So yes, that first equation is definitely in slope intercept form. Let's look at the second one. y equals mx plus b. Yep, for sure. So it's okay that this is minus and I'm saying plus, that doesn't matter. As long as it's in the right form and everything's in its right space, we're good to go. So both of these are in the correct form, so I can go ahead and graph them. So let's graph this first line, I'm gonna do it in black. Graphing the exact same way as we would a regular equation, I'm gonna plot my first point at my B value, so my Y intercept is at positive two. So here I go, one, two, that's my Y intercept point. From there, I'm gonna move based on what my slope tells me. So my slope is positive one half. So that means that I'm going to be moving up one, right two. And I could also do the reverse, down one, left two. And notice it falls all on the same line. Now, before I connect these dots, I need to be real careful and notice, is this a just a less than or is it a less than or equal to? And in this case, it is a less than or equal to. So if you think back to that graphing inequalities video, that means I'm gonna be using a solid line. Okay, and uh, because it is a less than, that means I'm going to be shading everything below the line. So if it's ever tricky for you to think, okay, what's below and what's above, just put your pen on a dot and then pull down, okay? That whole area is what you're gonna shade. So I'm gonna shade in black. I'm gonna gray, um, plot the second line in blue. All right, so plotting the same way, I see that my y-intercept is at negative three, so I'm gonna move down three from the origin. That's my first point. And from there, my slope is gonna tell me how to move. So this is negative two over positive one. So that means I'm gonna move down two over one. And I can also do the reverse. I can move up to left one. So now let's connect these dots. Now you'll notice that this is just a simple less than. It is not a less than or equal to. So I'm actually gonna have a dotted line in this case. Okay, and since it is a less than, I'm going to put my pen on a dot and move down. So everything 
below that line is going to get shaded. So looking at this, at what I've created here with this graph, I'm looking for whatever overlaps. So I'll notice this area right here is only shaded in black. This area up here is only shaded in blue. This area is not shaded at all. But this corner area right here, it's shaded in black and blue. So this right here, this section is going to be my solution. So I could pick any point within that section as well as extended beyond the graph what would fall in that section anything I choose would be a solution that would make these statements true so for example I could pick this point right here all right that negative 4 negative 2 because it falls within the shaded region that would be um, a true statement for those inequalities. I could pick a different point. I could do this one. Negative 2, negative 4. Oh, I just did the reverse. That's funny. Um, doesn't matter. Okay, as long as it falls within that shaded region, uh, it would be a, a solution to those two inequalities. So... Let's look at our second uh, example. Um, so my first equation, I definitely see this is not in slope intercept form. It's not in y equals mx plus b form. So I've got to get it in that form. My second equation, yeah, it is in y equals mx plus b form. There's not as much information, but it tells me everything I need to know. I can graph that line. So let's get that first one in the right form. So 4x plus y is less than... I would want to get my y alone, so I'm going to move this 4x over. I would have y is less than. Now, I can't combine 2 minus 4x, but I can rewrite them in standard form, keeping their signs so the negative stays with the 4x, the positive stays with the 2. Now I've got an equation in slope-intercept form that I can graph. So let's do this one first in black, and then we'll come back and do that one. So I'm going to plot my first point at that positive 2, right there. And from there it says I want to move down 4. This is negative 4 over positive 1. So down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. And you could do the reverse. I can move up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 left one. Alright, let's connect that line. You'll notice that this is a less than, not less than or equal to, so it's going to be a dotted line. Alright, and because it is less than, I'm going to shade below. So I'm going to put my pen on one of my dots and move below. Everything below will get shaded in black. Now let's graph this second equation in blue. So all I've got here is y is greater than negative 2. So that means I'm going to plot on my y-axis my first point at negative 2 and that tells me this is going to be a horizontal line. So anytime you have y equals a number um, or y is greater than or less than a number, that tells you it's going to be horizontal line. In the same way that if you had x equals a number, or x is greater than or less than a number, it'd be a vertical line. Notice uh, it's not or equal to, so I'm going to be doing a dotted line. All right, and because it is greater than, I'm going to be shading everything above this horizontal line. So looking at this graph, you'll notice that everything down here is just black. Everything over here is just blue. Right here, I've got nothing. Okay, but this little corner, or big corner technically, is shaded in both blue and black. So anything that falls within this section and beyond 
is going to be in my solution set. So I could pick any point. I could do this point right here, negative 5, positive 1. That would be uh, a solution that would make this true. You could pick something up here, uh, 2, 5. That would be a solution set as well. Um, so just anything falling within that range would be an answer. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. Thank you.